Brandon Beck, head football coach at La Cueva High School. I've been here for 15 years, the last eight as the head football coach. Uh, today we're here talking about um, trying to get our, our boys the opportunity to play uh, their final season, especially for our seniors, um, and trying to get the state to understand how important athletics is to a school setting, a community setting, and how important it is for these boys at this time in their life. Um, what we're asking for the state is that they decouple the hybrid requirement from uh, athletics and activities and at the district level to allow us to participate in small group uh, instruction uh, on campuses for any of those students that that want to have that chance to come to school so uh, that's what we're here today we're here to, to, to try to impress upon you the importance of letting our kids play and letting them get back out on the field of play and, and do what they've been working so hard to do since March and the, the last time that we had seasons cut from us Hi, my name is Ryan Cook. I'm a senior quarterback uh, here at La Cueva High School. And the big importance of sports to us in the community is the opportunity to go out and play and show out for our parents and the spectators and the fans that come to our games. It's the opportunity to uh, learn responsibility, learn how to be a man after high school, um, learn how to do tough things, fight through adversity, uh, and most importantly, um, lead a good life after we finish here at La Cueva. Hi, my name is Vincent Garcia, and I'm a senior defensive and offensive lineman this year. And we're doing this today to express our disappointment that we might not have a season this year. Um, every year, I look forward to those early mornings and those late nights grinding with the team and uh, working for that Friday. And this year, it's been almost a year since I put the pads and helmet on. And um, it's really just a tough thing for all of us. Every morning that we've had lifting, I've gotten up at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., came in and worked hard. And those mornings start my day and get me going and get me active. And without it, it, it just feels like there's a hole. And unfortunately, the people up at the APS school board and uh, our governor don't see the world and the sports world through the same lens that we do and they don't realize how truly important it is, especially for us seniors, since this is our last year of high school. And um, fortunately for all of those people, they got all four years of high school and they got to enjoy uh, every aspect of it. And us not even being able to go back to school or practice um, really just makes a big difference in our lives and a negative difference at that. My name is Brad Thomas, and I'm a senior receiver here at La Cueva. And I'm here to tell you the importance of playing football this year. Without it, we lack structure in our lives. We, don't, we miss out on a chance to make memories with our friends. I played football my whole career at high school, and the memories stick with you forever. As we come upon our senior year, we have a chance to make lifetime memories and be talking about it for years to come. But as the state continues to shut down our request to play, it seems that we will never get another chance to touch the field, put on the pads, be under the lights with our brothers, fighting for the same goal on the same team. Now, it's honestly pretty sad. Um, this is the truth. This is where, this is what it has come to. Being in the state of New Mexico, not playing football, it's made it very hard to be recruited to the next level. A lot of my teammates, including myself, want to play at the next level but without having a season to showcase our talent. We've uh, been receiving less and less attention. Um, other states like Texas, Colorado, they're playing football right around us and they're getting um, more attention from scouts than we are. We have a better chance of making it to the next level. We are not the only school in the district that has the same feeling. Schools 20 minutes down the road are getting the chance to play this year, while schools like us in El Dorado sit here with no hope, no hope for a season. Um, it's not fair that schools like Rio Rancho and Cleveland are getting a chance to play their senior season while we sit here and watch from the sidelines. What we're asking from leadership, both at the state level and district level, is for them to understand that we're not asking for anything in our state to be done that hasn't been done in states around us. We're literally in last place trying to catch up with regards to students getting back to the classroom and athletes getting back to the field. We all talk about following science and how important it is to look at the data. Well, the data doesn't lie. The data, those numbers are in stone and it's a hard concrete evidence that we can look at. And when you look at the states that have done it correctly, the things that they have in place, the, the, the protocols that they follow to make sure the athletes are safe. And we have examples of states in Arizona, Texas, Utah, Colorado, all the states that are surrounding us 
have done this. And so we're asking for the same opportunity that other athletes, other high school athletes have been given in other states. We're not asking for anybody to risk themselves if they don't feel comfortable. We 100% support the parents who don't feel comfortable at this point to allow their athletes to play. But there are a large majority of athletes and a large majority of families that are ready and willing to get out there. They've evaluated the risks. They've seen the data from other states and even state and even districts within our own uh, boundaries here in New Mexico. And we're just asking that we get the opportunity to do the exact same thing. Everybody has done this. We can step up and do the same thing. We can do it safely. We can do it correctly. And we can have fun and, and at the same time. And it's important for these kids as they move on to the next phase in life.